So every July 1st, we redo 20 benchmark farms from throughout our territory. There are farms set up throughout our territory. They've been set up, some of them, for 25 plus years. And then we monitor that one farm's value every year. They're representative of different areas of our territory, whether it be here in central Illinois with the flat black dirt, or as you go south, there, there's one set up that are levee protected river bottoms. If you look at the trend of the benchmarks, they've actually been going up since probably 2003. It's been about a 10 year uh, curve of values going up. And then the last three years, you've had the 22.2 the, the was I think in last year, and then another 18%. So in the last three years, it's actually gone up uh, right at 60%. Well, I, w I would say it's a combination of things. It's very good commodity prices. It's very low interest rates. And, and the farmers and the investors alike see it as, as a good investment. Prices could come down if, if interest rates are to rise like they are perceived to be doing at this point. Um, but if you also listen to Vernacki, I think after he announced that they were not going to support that long-term market, then they kind of recanted that a little bit and said, well, we're going to make sure everything works until the economy recovers. So you've seen a spike in long-term rates, but they've kind of eased off of that just a little bit. It does give them uh, a tool for looking at their balance sheets, seeing what their land values are, are doing, how that is affecting their, their equity, their capital.